So what do you want out of this whole writing thing? It's a good question to ask yourself regularly because if we're all honest with ourselves, it's sometimes different depending on who we're speaking to or when we answer. For example, I've had times where I couldn't actually give you an answer. I wasn't sure. I was floundering and didn't want to be published. I didn't want anything really. Even the writing was bringing me down. I stood upon the tallest stone in a ring of monoliths and screamed to the heavens above. Why? Why am I doing this? What do I actually want? And it really can test you, both internally and push you to search deep within yourself to find the answers. For some, this is maybe an easy one. Answers will be, I want to be published. I want a child to read my book and to love it. I want to write, come what may, because I just love the process. There's a million iterations of those and other answers, but for many of us, those seem very far off and impossible to reach. There are many intermediate stages between the dream and the reality. And it's the hope that sustains us, at least for a while. Then as progress halts and the going gets tough, we start to question ourselves. The time spent on writing instead of with family or friends or other pursuits. The money spent on courses and competitions. The fruitless hours thinking about a really stinging rejection or how there's no point because I'm probably never going to be published and this is all rubbish and I'm completely miserable anyway. And then we take a breath, we reset a little, we begin to think of the journey in smaller chunks. We work towards controllable goals and targets. We think in short term more than long term. We think in the reality rather than the dreams. We work out how best to preserve ourselves as we work towards what we want and how to protect ourselves and those around us from becoming consumed by the whole thing. I'm an open, honest, vulnerable person. I call a spade a spade. I don't tend to hide how I feel or neither do I want to. But I've spent years still trying to figure out what I want. What I really, really want. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's, that's going to be an earworm in your day. And it's not, um, it's not come easy. But I'm finally in a place where I know my self-worth as a person and a writer. I have clearer and more focused goals which aren't dependent upon the whims or likes of a subjective opinion or two. They aren't affected by sales or trends or chasing that magical space unicorn across the ice moon of Europa in the 29th century. Cold, hard, attainable wants, like finishing this book by writing 2,000 words a day until the end of June. Or spending one morning a month generating new story ideas so the well never runs dry. Or making myself do that hour of exercise and locking my phone and computer so that I wouldn't be tempted to scroll or to check emails or social media sites. I want to be published one day. I want to be a published author. I want children to read my book and love it. I also want to write, come with me and just love the process. These things don't all have to happen to make me complete and happy but it would be a start. It's taken a long time for me to realise this, some dodgy neurological wiring that's taken place inside this melon sized dome that is my head but I'm getting there and I do think as writers it's important to constantly reframe what we want and why we're doing it. So this week and going forward try and ask yourself what do you want? What do you really, really want? And then go get it.